the money? Well, we take a piece of this one and tie it to this one. We take a piece of this one and tie it to that one. All right. And so th this might create antibiotics that would be effective against what's called XDR, which is an emerging strain that's resistant to all antibiotics that work against um, uh, anti-PB antibiotics. Uh, a strain that's resistant to all of the antibiotics. And it's thought to be blocking a pump. You remember that Venky said that one of the ways that antibiotics are uh, resistant to rises they get pumped out of the cell. Well, that's probably what's happening here. And so if we make a bigger antibiotic by adding something on, it'll stop the pump. So I would just like to conclude uh, that uh, that basic research, understanding how the ribosome works, <clears throat> understanding how it binds to antibiotics, understanding how resistance arises, along with uh, the methods of computational biology uh, and structural biology and microbiology, allows you to develop new strains that are effective against uh, uh, resistance, new antibiotics that are effective against resistant strains. So let me just uh, end by uh, thanking people who are involved in this uh, process. Peter Moore, who by the way, uh, thank you Ramakrishna, worked in Peter Moore's lab at Yale for a few years uh, on the ribosome in the late 70s, uh, early 80s. <clears throat> Nena Bond, who was the, the pillar to start it all. Oh, this, by the way, is in Stockholm uh, <clears throat> at a, a little reception of the Nordic Museum. Everything in Stockholm started with some champagne uh, in the evening. The Swedes know how to put on a fabulous party. <clears throat> uh, and, and then Paul Nissen, who worked with Nena Bond uh, on the early work, uh, Martin Schmain did the substrate work, Jeff Hansen uh, did the, uh, the work on antibiotics. Uh, and, and this is uh, Peggy Etherton, who is my uh, uh, assistant, my administrative assistant for the last 25 years. She's, I call her my memory chip, because I forget things and she always reminds me. And uh, uh, solves a lot of problems. And, um, and here are uh, the lists of others. I did mention Scott Strobel's lab of made substrates, uh, and I did mention the Rivex people. Now, um, I'll just show one more slide of um, uh, the, the three who were here, uh, and here we are at the Nobel Museum. We had to sign the bottom of a chair, uh, <coughs> and thank you, and Ada Yonat, and myself, uh, and my name's here, and Benke's is down here as well. Uh, we had all kinds of fun things that we did uh, at, during that week. Uh, and um, uh, here's the Nobel uh, ceremony with the prize winners in the front row, orchestra, Alfred Nobel and statue. Uh, we came down uh, <coughs> at the banquet in a very uh, formal uh, way. This was the banquet. There were 1,500 people at the banquet. Uh, and uh, there was a crown princess, Venki, and myself. There was entertainment, great entertainment. And then finally, uh, the next day in the newspaper, there was myself and Venki sitting next to the crown princess, who was just married this past summer. And I said initially, Oh, the nice Benke and I got the Crown Princess on the front page of the Stockholm newspaper, and, and people said, well, now, there, there, my boy. Have you noticed she's actually very attractive, and she got you on the front page, so I'll stop there. Thank you.
That's Venkis. Thank you, sir. As a token of our gratitude, I request Chairman and the Chancellor of our universe, of Assam University to present a memento to Dr. Thomas Sage, Nobel Laureate. Thank you, sir. I request Dr. Kashmir Raja, sir, Dean Research, SRM University, to present a memento to Session Chairman, Professor Ram Murthy, sir. Thank you, sir.